Well, hello there and welcome to this interview. And today's interview is with Sandra Collins from Totally You Consulting. Now, Sandra, you are an image coach. Yep. And I think for a lot of people, that just means doing your colours. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's right, is it? Well, it's a little bit of it, a very yeah. small bit of it, in, in actual fact. It's, um, it's about um, getting the best out of who you are, really. Uh -huh. So it's about colours, yeah, because the, what colours we wear really makes a difference to um, how we look and how we interact with other people, because certain colours will make us look great and some colours will make us look not so great. Um, and that's the colour part of it, but it's about choosing things to wear that really suit you and suit your own personality and give you a little bit of something that's different from perhaps from your neighbour or you know, your best friend or something, something that's uniquely you. Oh, um, and also, I, you know, once we've done all that, it's, all, it's possibly sorting your wardrobe out, getting all your clothes so you can just choose what you want and you know, get up in the morning and, and be really easy to choose an outfit. Um, and if you really want me to go shopping with you, it's hard work, but I'm very prepared <laughs> to do that. It's, um, it's a great way of learning how to choose new things for yourself. So it's much more than, than mm. just learning to wear the right colours. By the sound of it, it's, much, it's more about how, how a person dresses can bring out their personality and support their personality. And Absolutely. Um, I always say, you know, if you've, if you've got two people and one person's um, a much more private person, you know, sort of a uh, quite bit quieter, um, and they're um, putting some really bright, vibrant colours on, and people are going to approach that person as a very outgoing person. Um, and, um, and that might be uncomfortable for that individual. Um, and vice versa, if you've got somebody who's really outgoing and they're wearing something very subdued, just black, or you know, a very subdued colour, people are going to perhaps approach them in a very serious way. So how you dress makes so much difference to the way people interact with you and how confident you feel about yourself. Um, it's not always stay, about staying in your safe comfort zone. It is good to step outside that little bit sometimes and, and be a little bit different and add a little bit something. But actually, you need to be yourself and um, be confident in who you are. And it's about building that picture for you. Ah, interesting. So do you, do you, have you ever found that you worked with someone and they've been surprised by the result? Oh, yeah. Frequently, people um, feel that they can't... Um, wear a certain thing because um, it's going to make them stand out too much but actually when they put it on they find that actually it doesn't do that at all. Um, people avoid certain colours all their life because they, I don't know, they've had some preconception about them. Maybe they've had it as part of their school uniform or something. It always kind of puts you off. But when you find the right style in the right colour, um, people are quite often amazed at um, you know sort of the difference it makes to them and, and and the styles that suit their body shape. You know, again, it can make a huge difference to um, how you look. And, and I imagine that can make a, a huge difference to someone's self confidence. Oh yes, absolutely. If you look good, you feel good. So if you're in business, for example, and you're having to do a, a presentation or something, and you've got to stand up in front of you know sort of a dozen or more people. If you know you look good standing up there, you're much more likely to have confidence in yourself than the whole presentation will go in a much, much smooth, more smoothly and you'll just, you know, you'll just uh, be able to interact with people better. So I imagine so. If, if someone walks into, let's say, an interview or a, or a, a business mm. meeting or, or that, that, big, that big business pitch yes. and they walk in and they, it, it just looks like their personality matches what they're wearing, which matches how they're how they're walking, the, the person walking in is going to see that written on the faces of the people that they're in the meeting already. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Your confidence is, is obvious to the room. Um, the room then have confidence in you. So you know that's happening because you're having a much better interaction with your client or group of clients. Or even if it's in a social occasion, you're walking to a party, for example, the same thing applies. Um, and then you obviously just, you know, the, the whole conversation will flow so much better. The only thing I provide I would put on is if you are in business, you do need to keep your own style, keep yourself looking great and feeling comfortable with who you are. But please remember your audience. So you've got to stick with the norms. To a degree. To a degree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Within the expectations of that uh -huh. client or that, that group of people and adding your own little quirky style on the side is, is great too. So if you're, if you're, so if, if the clients you work with expect you to be out there, yes, then you should be out there. But if they you expect you to be wearing a blue suit, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if you, um, 
you need to look at the culture of the place you're going to or the, the audience you have, understand what their dress code and the sort of policy they have for the way they dress is, and then just give yourself that edge by dress, dressing just a slightly above that dress code, just so it just says you've made a real effort, you know exactly what you're doing. But you know, if, if you are a quiet person, you don't have to go the whole hog and be really, really out there, but just add something which says, I'm acknowledging that you're a marketing agency or I'm acknowledging that you're a media company and so I need to be perhaps a little bit more quirky, for example. And presumably if you're a really quirky person, you don't need to go the, the whole of the other oh, way. Absolutely, yes. You, you can go over the top. If you Keep your own style, as I say, keep your own personality, but you'd sometimes some people need to tame it down just yeah. a little bit. But so this is not just about... This is not just about looking and feeling good, is it? This is, the, the, from what you're saying, there's a, a real business and a social benefit to, to oh doing gosh, this. It can yes, yeah. It does make so much difference. You know, your audience are expecting certain things. If you're a, I don't know, if you're a landscape gardener and you're going to tender for something, then it doesn't make sense that you wear a suit mm. because it looks like you're a salesman and not a landscape gardener. And if you're a landscape gardener, you wear a great, clean, nice, clean pair of, perhaps cargo trousers even, uh, a shirt with a logo on or something, that will tell you exactly what you do and it makes sense for what you're trying to pitch as far as your business is concerned. So, yeah, be appropriate for whatever audience you've got because it makes a lot of difference. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think you rem I remember you saying to me that you're, you're not just an image consultant, you're, you're, actually, you're actually a very experienced coach as well. Yeah. So you're used to, to doing more than just changing the way people dress, you're also used to working with the, the, the confidence and, 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 and sort of lifestyle issues that, that, sure. that go along with, mm. presenting, with someone presenting themselves as, yeah. Yeah. as themselves and professional. Exactly. I mean, mm. you, you, can, you can look your absolute best and, and you can look fantastic and you can feel confident, but if you um, haven't got your communication quite right, mm. then it can kind of let you down, for example. So, um, body language is just so important. Um, you know, just smiling is really important. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, and so there's lots of other things that go alongside um, how you look. So, and some people aren't quite confident enough to actually get the right look in the first place. So sometimes it's a better question of doing some coaching with somebody to give them a little bit more confidence. So someone um, might need actually actually coaching to be confident enough to wear the clothes that, yeah, that yeah. they it, need to be wearing yeah. to look. And people start from all, all different points around the circle and mm. it's just having the coaching background really helps me to be able to get to know somebody, understand their personality, help them to bring out the strengths that they have um, and get the whole person and the whole picture working really well, as I say, whether it's for business or whether it's for um, you know somebody perhaps going back onto the social scene and because after a number of years because their circumstances have changed. So it works for both avenues. So really. it's a very powerful combination you're Absolutely. bringing and it's very powerful in any, pretty much any... Sure, yeah. Any, and, yeah. You, and, I, and, I, and I believe I'm right in saying that you work with, with individuals, with small people running their own businesses and, and, with, and you, you work inside corporate, corporate clients as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, so individuals will be sometimes people just wanting to change their look or just do something different. As I say, maybe their circumstances have changed or maybe they've reached a significant birthday or something like that, which we all do. Um, yes, I'm looking forward to 21 myself. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, yeah. me too again. Um, and then, you know, small businesses is about getting focus and getting, you know, marketing yourself in the best possible way. And corporates tend to be people moving up the career ladder. So I work yeah. a lot with senior business people, ladies in particular, but gentlemen too, helping them to get their... Um, whole brand for who they are in their career, um, mm. working at its best for them. Mm. So, so if you had, what's the, what's the one, if there was one the most common mm. piece of advice that you, that, you, that you give to people off the top of your head, what, would, what, do, you, what do you think that would be? Tell, we'll tell our viewer what, do you, what you think. Okay, um, I think the, the most important thing is to Learn about yourself, know who you are, and know how you want to present yourself. All the rules about what works for you can be something you can learn, but actually learning about yourself and thinking about where you want to be and how you want people to see you is really important because their perception of you will be what you present to them. So, um, yeah, think about how you want to be seen. That's the first step along the line. Very important message, I think. Yep. And if, uh, if someone wants to know more, I guess they, they can give you a call. Absolutely. I'd be very happy to talk to them, just informally yep. or, or um, 
fascinated okay, with Okay, well, if you'd like to tell them the, tell them the phone number. And, okay, and um, if you'd like to give me a call, uh, my number is 07742 445 243, or you can just drop me an email at totallyyou at live.co.uk, and I'd love to speak to you. Great. Sandra, thank you so much, and when we finish, you better tell me whether I'm wearing the right colour shirt or not. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> <laughs> thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you, okay, Sandra. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. That's it. Bye for now.